What's up? It's your girl, Chata Gertis, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. Today, I am back again with another video for you guys. This is actually crazy. I really stepped, like, overstepped my boundaries on this one. Like, I really, like, really thought outside the box. So, as you guys can see by the title, your girl hired a spiritual consultant slash sidekick slash, I don't know, people did that can just see the future. You feel me? But I feel like a sidekick, a spiritual consultant is two different things. She's more in tune with universe, you know, religious things. You know what I'm saying? And she's kind of like a, she prophesies. Kind of like how Harriet Tubman used to be when she was leading the slaves back in the day. It's kind of the same thing here with this lady. Um, Her name is Don Ivory. Maybe like about two weeks ago, I actually was dropping packages off at the post office and she stopped. She was like, oh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Her daughter wanted to take a picture with me. Um, She was saying how her daughter watched my videos, yada, yada, yada. And y'all, she just started talking. Like she just started talking to me, like really giving me insight of my future. And um, as you guys know, um, your girl moved in about four days. I'm super duper excited. And as you guys know, your girl is scared of the future. So I just needed this to happen so I can be focused or, you know what I'm saying, see what she can envision of how my future is going to be, even though nobody can predict the future. But, you know what I'm saying, let's just see what she can do. Um, maybe she can put me up on beat about what I need to be focused on. Maybe what I'm going to run into, you know what I'm saying, in my life, into my next chapter of my life. So she's actually here right now. I told her not to come up yet. So I'm going to set this camera up. And y'all, we just going to get into it, get into it. I'm kind of nervous. I hope she don't say nothing off the wall. I think it, it, it should be good. It should be cool. Um, I'm super duper excited to know what's up. And um, y'all, like I said, when I had met her at the post office, she said a few things to me. She said, yeah, the light-skinned guy that you're dealing with, mind you, y'all, she don't know me from a can of paint. I don't tell her about me, like nothing. She don't even watch my videos. Um, she was like, yeah, that light-skinned guy, you gotta leave him alone. And as you guys know, my ex was light-skinned. I mean, him was on and off for a while. She was like, yeah, the light-skinned guy, this guy is sucking up your energy. And then she turned around and said she see me traveling in August. And it's so crazy because I didn't want to say anything, but um, I'm in the works of getting picked up by this TV show. So when she said, and, and it's, it starts in August. So when she said August, I was like, bro, that's crazy. So she was just predicting a lot of things. But I was there for only like, we only got to chop it up for about two minutes because I had somewhere to be. So I was like, yo, let me hear her up today. You know what I'm saying? It's a free day. I'm moving four days. Let's just see what my future holds. So let's get right into the video. Okay, we're gonna say a prayer before we get started. I probably come for a few days for the work order. I feel all the spirits in here. Really? Yeah. It's a lot of spirits. Like six of them. Really? Yeah. I see a grandma, a uncle, somebody that was on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know somebody passed on a motorcycle. But anyway, let's finish. Okay, Lord, you bring you. So we come for you today in prayer for the word for China and Makai. Makai. Whatever it is that um, you lay upon my heart to share with her that she needs to know to help her to advance and to go in the right direction and be focused, Lord. Yes. We block out all negative energy that's coming forth for her move that she's finna take. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody come into her path that will be the wrong one. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So basically what I want you to do, I kinda want you to explain like what you do and um, just make this this long as possible. So, cause the longer the better so people can understand. Just really talk in depth more. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. So people can understand. But. Okay, well I'm a spiritual advisor mm -hmm. and I do God only. Mm -hmm. So when the messages come through, they come from God. So I share it with you. They give you insight in your life. And if you need to change anything, you want to ask me anything, okay. I can tell you, I'll share that with you. Okay. And whatever just comes to me regularly, I'll mm -hmm. just tell you. So how long have you been doing it? Oh, uh, all my life. Really? Yeah. That's really good. I was born with this gift. My sister used to call me a psychic. When so I was you're kind of like a like a prophet, kind of. Yes, yeah, kind of how Harriet Tubman was when she was leading the slaves, in a sense. Oh. Cause yeah, she was definitely a prophet. I think um, oh. like God just gave her these dreams, and she can oh, kind of predict I didn't, the future. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's how she knew like which way to go, oh, I didn't so they won't get that. caught. Uh huh. You gotta see the movie. It's good. I think I watched the movie, but I mean, I guess I didn't watch the movie. Yeah. I watched the movie, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you said you've been doing it all your life. How mm -hmm. old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 52 now. Oh, so you've been doing it for like 52 years, maybe. Mm, well, no, 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 no. I gradually grew into it. Mm -hmm. Like, you, it's a process that you have to take. 
I'll say when I was younger, I used to say little things, but as I got older, it got stronger. Mm -hmm. So I used to see dead people, I prayed that away. Mm, oh, yeah. you used to see dead people? Oh, yeah. I used to see how they died. But, serious? yeah, I could still feel how they died, but I don't want to see it. So I asked God to remove that part of the gift. Mm. Like I don't, I don't want to see all that. Yeah. So, so, so you're not necessarily a sidekick, right? You're like, what's the difference between a sidekick and what you do? What's a side? I've never heard of a sidekick. Like a sidekick? What is he called? Oh, a sidekick. Psychic. Oh, psychic. no, no, no. no. Okay, so a sidekick. No. <laughs> so the psychic. <laughs> what a psychic. I know, a psychic is not of God. Okay. Like they read up on it, they mm. practice. It's like witchcraft more. Oh. So witchcraft. if you're not if it's not if God did not instill that gift in you, a lot of people want to know. So a lot of people act like they witches. They read that. They read your palms. Like mm. I can't read your palms. I can't read a card. Right. So that's kind of like witchcrafty. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, it is witchcraft. It's mm. witchcraft. So you're you're getting into stuff that you don't need to. Okay. Like you're touching into the demonic spirits that's out there. Oh no. So when you do God, that don't come forth. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people don't believe in the all natural. But it's there. God yeah. is God is real. God brings his prophets. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But yeah. as soon as a lot of people want to down put it in, oh, no, no, you know, negative. Yeah. But I don't, as soon as that negative come, I, I shut it down. Exactly. I'm not going to see it because I had to do that one time. Mm -hmm. I did a reading with these people. They came from uh, Michigan and they had their family member died. Mm -hmm. I told them everything, where they was at, how it happened, and all that. The police didn't want to listen to me though. But the one girl wow. with them was negative. So I said she can't come in. So Not how right far out. can you like, can't, so you whatever see the future comes, or whatever you see? Whatever he brings to me to share with you for insight and guidance. So okay. it could be something that happened in your past that you're still holding on to that you need to let go. Mm -hmm. And then it, it can be your future. Which direction you going. Can you if see it's the like, right, like when, I can see when, marriage. People, when people can die? Now nah, you don't know. If, you can't tell when somebody's going to die and stuff, right? Kind of. Really? Oh, my gosh. That's scary. I don't want to know yeah, that. It's, <laughs> it's, if they're doing negative in their life and that negative and then stuff can happen, yeah. I can yeah, okay. That, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right, well, all right, well, let's get into it. I'm kind of nervous. I was just trying to ask all these questions so I can be up on video what, what I'm about to get myself into, okay? <laughs> all right, so what do you see kind of like in my future? I see a lot of traveling. Mm -hmm. So when you move down there to where you're going in yeah. Atlanta, you just have to keep to yourself. Okay. So. Don't be neighborly. Because mm. you don't want the neighbors in your stuff. Okay. So, because I, I can see one lady clingy. Don't. Mm -mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's going to be light-skinned. I don't know if she lives right across the hall. Because is that, is that how it's set up? Yeah. So how do I'm you know? Not, I don't, I just see her. Right there, mm. and you're over here. Did you already get the apartment? I seen it. Did you see her? Never. No. Mm -mm, Just see. don't talk. Don't deal with her. Cause okay. that nosiness you don't need in your life. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do see the marriage. Not yet though. Marriage? Yeah. How old? Like. Mm. So you said you're how old now? Twenty. Nineteen. Oh, nineteen. You're gonna get married young. Really? I'm I see. Young? I see twenty-three. Oh gosh. You gonna be ready? I don't He's know. He's brown skinned. You already know him. Are you serious? What? Yeah. I'm going to marry somebody I know. Yeah. Do you oh. run like jog? Mm -mm. You're not into that yet? No. Because that's, that's how you're going to start doing that. Because I see the working out. I see the jogging and the exercising. Mm. And I see him in that picture. So when you start doing that, I already feel like you know him though. Really? Yeah, he's real. And you said he's brown skin. Yeah, tall. I don't know what his name starts with, but you're you're gonna exercise with him. I see the working out with Are him and everything. Yeah. Okay. The is eating, he older? The eating Maybe? better? No, he's not older than you. He's gonna be your age. You're not gonna date old like that. You date mm -hmm. old like that now? Yeah, I, I I'm into older guys, but mm -hmm. yeah, he's not gonna be older like that. Okay. He's Probably. gonna, but he's gonna be mature. Mm. So he's not no stupid little kid, you know. Okay. Say so he's got a head on his shoulder because he's gonna have three businesses by the time. Oh yeah, he he's oh, yeah. gonna have three businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. One of That's... them is the producing. So I don't know if he's the music thing. He's into the music thing, mm -hmm. and then he's into like yeah that Big thing. Horn. He it's gonna be three different things that he's doing, but he's gonna be very successful at it. 
Yeah, he has two brothers. I don't know why. I feel like you already know him. How many guys are in your life right now? Two? Um, It's a couple guys I, I keep in touch two? with. Uh, Two main ones? I don't really, I don't really like. Have main ones? Yeah, I don't have main ones. I just hit them up whenever I can. I don't be. I see two main ones. Okay. You don't know who I'm talking about? Um, I know one guy who does forex trading and he's into that Bitcoin stuff. But he's not dark skin. He's like no, brown. light, light brown. I guess like her, like a lighter brown, not yellow. Okay, not high yellow, light skinned it, but like a he brown, like a, a lighter bit. brown. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, you're asking me, how far into the future do you want to see? Because I see the marriage. Mm -hmm. I can see all the white, the, the white, the white gown, the white. I don't know what color your bridesmaids are gonna have on, but I see all the white. So mm -hmm. your flowers, every you like white too much like that? I don't like white. <laughs> I don't like I just white. See Maybe all the for, white. for to you know to get married, but I don't like white. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I do see a lot of white mm. at your and your at when you get married. Yeah. Okay. The okay. flowers, the the whiteness is just pure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what about like career wise? Like what do you see? Cause I dip and dabble into many different things, but I just want to know what do you feel my main thing is going to be? Cause I do acting, I do modeling. Um, I got a boutique, uh, I dance a little bit and I do video creating of course, but I don't you know. Got it. You don't want to write this down? Oh, all right. Well, well, no, actually we're videotaping it. Yeah. So you'll have it. Okay. Okay. Now the business boutique wise thing, I see Peachtree Street. Oh, girl, yeah. You are. Yeah. You got the Instagram famous. Yeah. You're, the what direction you're going is the right direction. Wow. You just have to keep. Now, you got. You said it's you and two sisters? Well, that's what? In your family wise. Uh, yeah, I have two sisters. Okay. But you might try because your money going to be good. Really? Yeah. Okay. But just. And when you start that eating thing right. Just try to drink a lot of water. Okay. Don't not them juices. Mm-hmm. Cause some unless you get the right juice. Yeah. Make sure you get the right juice. Cause some of them juices still drain you. Mm. All juices ain't good juices. So pay attention to that. Cause I see you going in that diet thing real heavy. Yeah. Why? I'm actually I actually am eating right, right now? around. Yeah. I'm taking a lot of like um, CBD products and detox Watch products. Watch that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Cause you don't wow. want to pass that. That's crazy. How'd you know that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that God did. Okay. But you got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. And then as you're getting older, get neater. Get neater. Are we a little messy? What do you mean neater? Meaning neater in like, your house. Oh, like are unorganized you a, little, a bit? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a lot of it. A little bit. I'm not crazy unorganized. I try to be as organized as much as possible. Though. But try to be neater. Okay, So neater. you never know who's going to pop up. Mm. So you know how if you're in a hurry so much, yeah, get, I am always in okay. Hurry. Don't don't do that. Okay. When you get undressed, you get you be organized. You make sure you put this there, that there, that don't leave nothing laying here, because people are gonna be popping up on you. Okay. You don't even know what's gonna come your way. Right. Everything is gonna come. Remember, I told you when I met you at the post office, when stuff comes, it's gonna it's gonna happen so fast yeah. that you're gonna be like, oh my god. Mm. You know how some people wait all their life for a miracle? Yeah. You're already walking in it. Wow. Fast. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. And I'm talking about fast. You can't go out getting everybody hair done and stuff, though, because I see you doing that soon. What? Doing what? Getting everybody hair done. Getting everybody hair done? Yeah. Really? Your I mama, sell your hair. Assistant, oh, my you, mom. But you're going to get know. everybody hair done. That gets expensive. Okay. If you keep getting everybody hair done. Okay. Don't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah it but why, I don't know why I always see you wanting everybody hair done. Really? Yeah. You're like that perfectionist with the hair? Yeah. Yeah. I like people looking good. Yeah. But you can't keep, always do it yourself. Okay. Sometimes, even though you have a lot of money or you have a certain money where you feel so comfortable, you still have to save your money okay for rainy days which you're not gonna have you're gonna mm. be good really you just can't spoil them like let them make their own way i ain't saying your mama yeah but the rest of the crew <laughs> okay yeah i got all you. that getting there by hair done mm -mm. stuff you know what i'm saying yeah okay you do that now not, not as not much really as not, not as much as you're not, going to oh well i got my september september's gonna day. be a good month for you with your with that hair stuff. september that's my yeah. birthday yeah, my birthday is oh, September birthday. 13th. But you're going to be having a lot of goodness with the, with the hair then. Okay. Yeah. Good. There's one color, the colors. 
color hair? That colored hair is coming in in September. So look for that color. Make sure you Google what color people want right now because the color hair coming. Yeah. Okay. And you want that color hair. Okay. Or keep the color ready. Mm -hmm. For when you could just dye it real fast. Real fast. Like, like don't like don't have, don't have to wait for the color to come to you. You okay. see what I'm saying? So Google the colors. I see like a, I want to say like a brownish, like a light brownish. Do they wear that light brownish color? Mm -hmm. Sandy brown. Yeah, like a, yeah. Mm -hmm. They into that color? I don't I know. That. I see that in September. Okay. Like the light colors. Yeah, yeah, the light color hairs. Okay. Yeah. okay. Not that red and all that mm -mm. dumb stuff, no. Like the lightish colors, yeah. Okay. Not the blonde. Don't do too blonde. Okay. I don't know why dark females feel like they look good in blonde. <laughs> why? <laughs> and make sure you put this on there. Because I'm so sick and tired of seeing dark skinned <laughs> girls with blonde hair. Don't they be, some, some of them, it just don't fit them. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what about friendship wise, like family and stuff? Or people in my past. When you're in your, like, I, I'm picking up the age of 32. Mm -hmm. So, when you're 32, you got to watch that. Because I can see a lot of attacking you. Well, a lot at of what? At that age, like jealousy. When I'm 32? Yeah. Because okay. I see the cars. I'm telling you, girl, <laughs> you on your way. You don't see it, really? but it's there, yes. Yeah. Especially Thanks when God. you hit your 30s in the beginning, like 32. That Maserati. Damn, that one with the thing on it. What's that thing? A uh, M? No, you know how the car, the white Maserati car, got that thing on the front. What is that? Like a? That's M. It's, it looks like an M. It's like a Maji. That's the car you're gonna have when you're 32. Really? Do you know how expensive that car is? I don't want no Maji though. But then I want an Audi or a Lexus. I don't want no Maserati. Your feelings gonna change. They right? really are. Yeah. Wow. Because you're going to be traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. So you're going to experience a lot of different people mm -hmm. and a lot of different money people. And when you see that fancy, yeah. you're going to be like, mm, I want it. Mm, mm. The, the, okay. Especially the dresses. I, you like wearing them? I dresses? like dresses. And the dresses are going to be just. I can't see you doing it, but try to bargain shop a little bit. Bar <laughs> <laughs> like, why go out and buy that expensive, expensive dress stuff. if you don't have to? Right. You know, that's right. such a waste of money. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you get that money, you don't you even think like, about I it. I just want it. Yeah. Do you do that now? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I try to bargain shop a lot. Stay with that. Okay. I don't see you doing that, but stay with that. Okay. It's going to be hard. Get her to stay with that, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So what about my mom, like my relationship with her? Because me and my mom relationship is good now, but it's sometimes kind of rocky here and there. But we're pretty tight though, for the most part. She just, she drinks? No. She don't drink at all? Mm -mm. My, my grandma drinks oh. heavy. See that, that. And she's like, her spirit is Yeah, like you got to pray for negative. her in Romans, sure. Romans 12, all on grandma. Cause I mean, she gotta stop drinking like that. Yeah. Is she in her sixties now? Yeah. She's, She's like, like fifty something, like sixty. Yeah. Her, her her whole body's gonna shut down at sixty two. Really? Yeah. If she don't leave wow. that drinking alone, she's not gonna make it after that. She's darker now. She's she's yeah she's dark skin yeah yeah. She yeah. wear glasses. Mm -mm. She don't wear glasses yet. Mm -mm. She don't wear glasses. I see glasses on her. Really? Yeah. Yep, I see glasses on her. Do she use them for reading or something? I don't know. I, don't I see think her with she, glasses. She don't wear glasses. glasses. Well, she's going to. Well, do, the, the way I see her at 62, I see glasses. And I see her health bad. So she has to stop the drinking. Like, seriously. Yeah. Okay. Your mom is fine. Okay. The, in, the issue I see with your mom, even though we're not supposed to be focused on that, is her dad. Like, where was her dad? Um, she had got adopted at a young age, oh. and my grandfather just passed last week. Her adopted, oh. her adopted dad. Okay, passed. so maybe that's. But what my you're granddad, feeling. her blood, her her blood dad, he lives in Columbus. They not really, they close or whatever. They talk. Well, her there. issues through life was her dad, the dad thing. The dad thing. Yeah. Okay. So her mom was there, but her dad wasn't. Um, my mom. Well, because she my, was adopted. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My mom was adopted. My my grandma and my granddad, like my blood grandma and granddad, they were like on drugs and stuff back in the day. Okay. Yeah. But the the issue more of that affection that you feel like you're not getting too much heavy on, 
how does she affect how's her affection mm. like it's not heavy i love you i love you i love you all the time uh no she actually tells me i mean our her affection is pretty good now like she always calling me tell me she loves now, me and stuff. but yeah, i'm talking now. about later when you were 12. oh yeah that was because i very little that age yeah, of 12 she, I, you went you had yeah i was kind of like neglected yeah, and stuff yeah yeah, yeah like because i could see the i could see the pain in you at the age of 12. yeah i was but was you let it go right my life i definitely let it go yeah so that doesn't stop you from saying i love you uh, uh to people i'm not talking about because sometimes you bring your childhood into your future so the pain you felt then of not getting it sometimes it's hard to express it because you didn't get it get it so you got to be open more with your men as well okay so where's your dad uh my dad we i i found out about him like when i was like 14. See what so I'm we're saying? Kind of but you have to have that love still when you have your boyfriends that i love you that don't be afraid to show it because you feel like you're not going to get it back right okay you, you when a guy love you they're going to love you you're not going to get that well you just had two of them right i ain't gonna get into that if you don't want me to but i didn't have two boyfriends at the same time no 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 two guys like, that you yeah. didn't get what you needed out of it right but they're not gonna all come like that okay so don't hold your feelings in because you don't want to get hurt again you gotta still be open and loving because when that guy come that brown guy see you with you have to be able to be mm, baby i love you too baby. you know you gotta <laughs> do that you can't okay. like don't leave that out okay okay okay, okay. Pillow How many bed. pillows on the bed? Right now, it's only like four. <laughs> but you a pillow person? Yeah, I'm probably. I actually was looking at pillows last night. Cause I see a I want lot of pillows. pillows. Oh really? my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I felt the pillows and the food. Um, do you have to go grocery shopping, or is, do you not like to? Um, I, I, I try I to see... go grocery shopping often, but I eat out a lot. Okay, that you gotta slow down. Man. I know, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to do that yeah. now. Cause I see the food not in the refrigerator, so. Really? Yeah. Oh. Get the food. Get the refrigerator food. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start being. You're gonna be home. Don't try to go out too much right now with this virus stuff yeah, going nah. on still. So try to eat home more instead of eating out. Cause you don't know what's out there. Like seriously, I don't see you getting affected by it. But just okay. be safe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so my ex boyfriend, um, he, leave him he's light skin, yeah, definitely leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, the good I'm guy in the process of leaving him alone, uh, but he, he he's on you. my heart a lot, he's well, on my heart a lot, as far as as far as the just, feelings, or? yeah, the, mm, not like I want to get back with him because I know we're not gonna work out because well, God already told me he's not for me, mm -hmm. but I don't know, I it's hard for me to like let him go a little so bit, so you have to break that soul tie. Mm -hmm. You have to ask God to break that soul tie. Heavenly Father, I'm ready to let this go. Okay. As far as he already knows, just you can say to him in little words to God when you pray. You don't have to make big paragraph to sentences. Heavenly Father, I don't want it to in my spirit anymore. I want you to break that soul tie. Okay. That's all you got to say. You don't even got to sure. go deep into it. You know how people think they got to go deep in You don't even have to. Not with God. Because he already knows your heart, and he already knows where you're going. He already knows what you need, so. Okay. Um, and when you move, put family pictures up. Put family pictures up? Yeah. Okay. You don't have any? Mm -mm. Just pictures any? of me. Yeah, get you some family portraits and put them up on the wall. Okay. Even if you have to print them, because that's what I did. Mm -hmm. You could just print them. You got a printer in the house? Mm -hmm. Just print them out, colored, and they look nice in the frame. Okay. It looked just like a picture you took. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that with my family back home. So, mm -hmm. okay, so right now, I feel like I'm in the process of. Okay. You're in a good place. Right yeah, now. I'm in a good place, but yeah. I'm scared of the future. A no, little bit. Mm -hmm. don't use that word. God don't bring fear. Okay. So don't speak it. You always got to be careful with the words that come out your mouth. Don't speak fear. Don't don't feel like you're confused. Start changing your words. I'm confused. I'm scared. Don't use those words. Okay. Just if you feel them, just say, Heavenly Father, give me the direction I need right now. Or guide me in the right direction. But don't say those words because that's when the enemy comes in. He'll put that distraction there. He'll put that, he'll make the confusion even more. Co you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you could be sitting there like, damn, should I go over here today and do this? And then you start thinking about it too hard. Mm -hmm. And then you'll go the wrong way, and it's like you wasted your time. 
You feel what I'm saying? So if you pray about it, you ask God, he's going to he gonna put you in that right direction. Right now, you're in the right direction. You're going the right way. Yeah. That move you're making is a good move. You just, when you get there, just try not to be friends with them people right there. Okay. You already have your set of friends? Um, I don't have a lot You of don't friends. really need any. I don't. Just climb the ladder. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say friends, but acquaintances. People that will be in the, if they're positive and you, and they're showing that, okay, I'm going to need them. Like that type of friends. But keep them that, like that though. Exactly. You know what I mean? There you go. Okay. Yeah. Because we need people to get where we got to go. But you want the positive people. Yeah. Okay. It'll work. It'll work. Also, um, I'm kind of afraid of, like, death. See? Like, I Give talk about that it. word like, again. Well, I can't. I don't know what <laughs> oh, to well, say. Oh, well, go ahead. Okay. Well, You're yeah, telling kinda, me so. Yeah, so, yeah. like, um, I Never think about. Never fear death. Yeah, I think about it a lot. Because we're all going to go. Yeah, I know. You ain't going anywhere it's yet. It's just that. Um, You're not going anywhere yet. Okay. You're going to live a very long life. Really? You'll probably see your grandkids. Yeah. You're not going <laughs> That's nowhere. all I wanted to know. Then you're not going nowhere. Okay. Yeah. God has got to use you. Okay. So let him use you. So another thing too, um, I want to see use... how you're so doing this. Put God in it. Absolutely, I have been. Yeah. Because he needs to use you. Because you're right there. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you put him in, the more he gonna give. You see what I'm saying? But always remember him. For sure. Whenever. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else should I ask? Okay. My daughter made me meet you that day. Really? She wanted to come so bad right now, really? but I couldn't go get her because yeah. it would have been out of the way. Mm -hmm. I would have to go back, come so back. Exactly I'm like, I can't. She was, she mad at me, but uh, oh well. What else? Do you, you have to do that affection thing a lot, though. Affection. I see the like your mom's not close. Where is she? Oh, she lives on the street from me. I saw her today. Did you hug her? You oh, got to get that I affection in there. Today. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Get that affection in. Because it's hard to show it. Mm -hmm. You wasn't giving it enough. So, you know, when you see your hi, mom, I love you. Get yeah. that in you. Okay. Then you're, you're, you'll smile more. Because okay. you'll feel so comfortable with yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if you don't mean it sometimes. Because okay. <laughs> so, it'll just make you feel so, mm, mm, you know right. what I'm saying? Okay. You don't drink wine? Uh, I'm starting to actually. Uh -huh. My friend, my friend on to yeah. it. Uh, okay, so also I want to kind of, but you still young, so yeah. I want to use my platform for like other things to like push Christianity. Um, and I've been doing that a lot. Like every time my friends come around, I tell them, mm -mm, "You need to be a Christian. Like you it's know, important." You go. And I feel like God will bless me more when I keep doing that, preaching the gospel kind and of. And read your Bible. Mm. Get in the word. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I don't go to. I don't. I, even when church was there, I won't say I won't. I don't do church. I do church, but I do church at home more than going into a sanctuary. They say you go into a term sanctuary is better. But even as long as you got God here, and you open up your Bible and you read God's word, you're good. Okay. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I listen to Joyce Myers. <laughs> I do T D Jakes, Joyce Myers, Stephen Furtick. You know, and Joe Austin the most. Mm -hmm. And then I opened up my Bible. I got my prayer closet. I emptied That's up my good. whole closet in my house. Yes. And put my go in there and just talk to God. He'll he'll tell you. Once you get closer to him, you'll hear him. For sure. He guides you. Okay, so um like I said earlier, uh my granddad recently passed last week. Um he was in the hospital for a very long time. Um he kinda raised me. We were pretty tight, but as I got Not older colon cancer. Huh? Like colon cancer? Uh-uh. He, uh, he passed. He had a heart attack in the hospital. But he was already in hospital for like over a year because he had got sick real mm -hmm. bad. And he was in, he had like an infection that just wouldn't heal. And so it just got worse. It was the colon. Worse. Huh? Not the colon cancer. Um, Why do I keep What is a colon thing? cancer? I think men get more colon cancer. I'm not even what sure. What is that? It's in your, in the, and, and, in your book. Really? You get cancer, yeah. I, I think, yeah, that's where the, the infection colon. was. Yeah, because I keep worse. feeling it. The colon, yeah. yeah. How do you yeah. know that? God, it's good. Because I didn't even know that, but I remember yeah. that they tell me the infection was being in his bottom. Yeah, that's colon. That's what I kept saying, yeah. the colon cancer. Yeah. But he had a heart attack, though. So he uh, didn't necessarily die, die from, from that. that. But that yeah. was probably That's why he okay. was in the hospital for like over a year. Yeah. Oh, and for, the, for that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, because they was trying to get so, him better. So, okay, hold on. When he talked, did he talk loud? Mm-mm. He mm -mm. was a low talker? Yeah. Because right now I can hear him yelling. So, did he leave back, leave a wife? 
Yeah. The long hair? She don't got long hair. But did she wear the weaves long? She wear... Nah. Her, I see the hair. She is... Her, he's her, her about, wigs used to be short. Hold on. He's talking about a lady with long hair. Because I see the brown hair. But something with a car. What does that mean? A car? Yeah. I don't know. So you don't know the issues? Mm-mm. Oh. What? It's not, he's he's mad about something with a car and the wife and the, somebody with the long. Did he have a daughter? Who was he trying to leave somebody a car? Or something with a car. He's so mad. So you ask about that. How long he been going? Uh, for like a week. Ask time. about that car. Did, how many cars did he have? None. He wasn't driving. He couldn't drive no more. He, he didn't. Was in a... But what? No. Well, did he have cars? Mm mm. He didn't have no car. No. So what is he mad about the car? I don't know why he's mad about a car. Because yeah. he, he stopped driving years ago because he couldn't walk anymore. And he could barely see. Like, he had his eyesight wasn't all that good in the dark. So, he stopped driving years ago. So, he had a, he has a daughter? Not a blood daughter. It's my mom's his daughter, his only daughter. Because he adopted her. Oh. I'm, talk, I'm talking about my adopted grand grandfather who okay. adopted my mom and my four uncles. Okay. But he's saying something about a, tunt. a car. Yeah, something mm. with the car and the lady with the. I don't know what he. I don't know, but it's, maybe it's he's not mad. the right spirit. Hmm? Maybe it's not the right spirit. Maybe it's somebody else. I don't know. Maybe they lived in here. Maybe I don't know. They're saying it. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but he definitely wasn't maybe driving. Find out you got the gift too. Then what? Because why would you say that? Because. You were saying how you felt a lot of spirits in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Right now, I'm talking about, we're talking about your granddaddy. Really? But when you, when we finish this conversation and I leave, you go call your mama and ask about that car thing. And you're going to figure it out. Because okay. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he's mad about, about that car. Can yeah. I, do you, can I show you him so you can kind of yeah, look yeah, inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is yeah. his obituary. Yeah, yeah. He was not a driver. Uh-uh. Who's you, Sandy? Sandy? Yeah. I don't know what Sandy. Well, I know this girl named Sandy back in school, but she's Mexican. This is the only picture you have? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He keeps talking about a car. Now, who's this? That's the wife? Yes, that's his wife right there. Yep. But she's a, she's alive. Yeah, she's alive. And her mom recently died the same day he died. Whoa. Yeah, they both were in the hospital. It's so crazy, right? So, what did you want to know about him? Oh, I just kind of wanted to, uh, I just really felt guilty because I wasn't always there for him as much as I should have been. And he lived up, he was, he, he lived up the street from me and I just feel a lot of guilt. That's really all. And I just kind of want to put it to rest. Well, he don't hold, he's, he doesn't hold that against you. Okay. Mm -mm. They don't, when they pass, when they pass, they're not mean. They don't hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? They're with God now. So it's like, they're at peace. They don't do all that stuff like that. So no. you don't have to feel guilty mm -hmm. because you're young. Yeah. So he, he wasn't looking for you for that Okay. because you were so young. Yeah. You're still living your life like mm -hmm. as a teenager. So what teenager is going to do what you feeling guilty for? <laughs> you yeah, know you're what right. I mean? You're, right, you're right. not an adult. Yeah. So at, he doesn't hold. He didn't know. Was his wife always there for him? Yeah. So who was who wasn't? Who wasn't there for him? Like, when they, when he came sick, like, but he was in the hospital, though. Yeah. So they didn't go see him a lot? Um, I don't think, my Uncle Dana didn't go see him a lot. Mm -hmm. Or my uncle. But he was a drinker, too? Who? My Uncle Dana? I don't think he was a drinker. No. No. Now, who's this here? That's my Uncle Keith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's very, I feel like he's close to God. He tells me a lot about God. He he's married. Very, no, he used to be married. Oh, with but the, the two wife, kids? No, he don't even have kids. But she did? Mm, I don't know if she had kids or not, but he cheated on her. She cheated on him. She cheated on him. With, but I see two kids. Really? Yeah. With him? Yeah. But you say he don't have any my kids. My Uncle Bull has three kids. Oh, and my Uncle Thena have two kids as well. But my Uncle Thena is right. But not him. No, he don't have no kids. Nope, not at all. So they were real brothers. Cool. Them, them guys you mentioned. Yeah, same. they're yeah, they're blood brothers. Yeah, same mom and dad. But I don't know. I see the two kids. Is he single now? Yeah, he's single now. Wow. And he wants kids, but I don't know. I just see two kids. He's waiting for marriage. He in his forties. No, I think he's like thirty nine. 
California. He gonna he gonna get them kids done. Really? I, Cause I see two kids. I see two boys. My uncle Thena. Oh, has, I must. Be, do they look alike or something? Yeah, they do. Oh, they maybe all I'm look alike. Up, maybe I'm picking up him then. The ladies light skinned. This is my uncle Thena right here. His, he has two boys. Why light skinned? Uh, with a huh? The lady light skinned. Yeah, with yeah. a light with a light skinned. Is she lady. heavy? No, she's, she's just thick. Heavy. She's thick. Yeah, she's just thick. Yeah, like thick, thick. Not thick, thick. His his wife that he's with now, she's pretty thick. Oh, so but not the baby married, mama. But not the baby mama. No. Cause I see thick. Really? So that's the one he with now. That's he, thick. Though, yeah. She's so thick. why his kids are older? Hmm. Is his kids older? Mm, nah, his kids Cause is he's like not. He's not there 14, like he's supposed to 13, be. 14. Really? Yeah. But hmm. you don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. Nope. Them kids need him. Really? That new white mean or something? Mm. -mm she's sweet. So I wonder why he don't. But the two, his two boys live with his baby mom, the mom. Right. But they're still in the same area. They're in still in sense. Georgia. Yeah, they're in Georgia. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so what else you want to know about you? He's um, not mad at you. You're a child. Not. No. Okay. And even if you wasn't a child, once they go over there, they don't do that. Yeah. They let all that, all that animosity, all no. that stuff is gone. That's Unless good. they got an evil spirit and his spirit's not evil. At so. all. He's saying something about school, though. What he's saying? You have to go. You, he wants you to get your education. Besides all the stuff that you're doing, I have a high school diploma. He want me to get, go to college. Yeah. Something to fall back on. Mm -hmm. So you pick. No, you do your businesses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Go for business. You'll okay. learn the tricks and trades. More. Of, get your business degree. He's saying some more social work, but you're not interested in that. <laughs> so. I mean, he you gotta ask somebody else. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but he wants. He's saying the degree, get the degree. So even if you go to school online, because yeah. you can do your business school online. Okay. Then you'll learn the tricks and trade of the business yourself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you're gonna need those skills anyway. That's true. But you're gonna travel a lot though. Really? Yeah. Do you the said? school thing now. Oh, I hate. I, I Let somebody have, else take the classes. You, know, something. you need to get that degree under your name. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Maybe to bring more money somewhere down the line or something. Oh, she's got the degree for that. She did this. She's educated. She's you that title. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Online I is can do like online a is the easiest thing you can do. Okay. And those checks are beautiful. I'm feeling a lot. <laughs> I definitely don't want to go to no university. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about online. You can see okay. here, do this home right off the book. Bam. Okay. She can help you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Okay. Or you, so, you can do it too. Y'all can do it together. Have fun. Get right. y'all degrees. Get the little checks they give you. You know. All right, so. Am I putting you to sleep? No. Oh. So more, more about myself. Um, what do I need to work on to be um, a step closer to my success later? Your attitude. My attitude. I have attitude. <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with like what not are you saying? not saying it like in a bad way, but in a bad way. If you feel, cause we all feel people. Okay. Now, if you come to me, if we come meet, how we met, you are cool. Keep it like that. Okay. But if you're not feeling that person, don't show it. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you got to just humble yourself and just okay. get through the process. Because it might be a rewarding one in the end. Even though your, your spirit, because our spirits will feel another person's spirit. If you don't like that spirit, you ain't got to be their best friend. But figure out what you need to know. Cause it might help you out in the end, than to just be automatically like, <laughs> yeah. You know this, exactly. that right there. That's what I mean by your attitude. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Not saying you're a mean person and you're nasty to people. Yeah. Not like that, mm. but you gotta, cause you your facial expressions show it all. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta learn how to not have them facial expressions, cause okay. people gonna be able to read you, mm -hmm. and you don't want them to be able to read you. Okay. You want them to feel like you're happy at all times, or you feel a certain way, but they don't want them to be like, oh, she's got an attitude problem. Right. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. don't want them to feel that energy. 
Also, um, cause when I first met you, and the and uh, they the boy said something about the gay guy. Even though you were cool with your response, uh, I still was a little aggressive. Guess it. Day. And I'm like, she probably taking it the wrong way that he's saying it. Mm. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> but yes. I caught that. That's I'm like, whoa, she gotta be careful with that one, okay. cause people gonna come at you. Yeah. So you just got like. You know, you did a good job though. Okay, I, <laughs> I, I know, cause I'm like, she like, who the f do he right? think he's talking like, to right now? I felt all that when you. I I like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! I hope she'll snap, but you didn't snap. You were right. really cool. Yeah, for the yeah, most. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So about this storefront, um, I'm, how did you I'm, get your own place so fast? Oh, cause um, how old are you? 19 and Seriously? I moved here when I was 18 so a month after I graduated I moved there so what I did was like my credit was pretty good like oh, I had like a okay. 600 and then um my I had I made like I'm three times oh, oh I made like three times my rent and they just let me in how with, hmm? the, with this it's yeah crazy. YouTube uh-huh clothing brand yeah yeah I make my I make okay money I'm comfortable you know I, I would like more but I'm definitely comfortable where I'm at right now though so YouTube and all that really can pay absolutely, you? absolutely. Social media is a wow. different kind of like uh, job description. It's really it's, it's we That's make more this. than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I yes. need my page. I need to put <laughs> well, that camera like I in my saying, car. I want a storefront. I want a storefront. I don't see. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I want a storefront. I see Peachtree Street. Really, Peachtree mm -hmm. Street. It's gonna but be I wanted cute. it in Stone. <laughs> But I wanted it in Stone Cold's mall, though. No, you don't. No? Mm -mm. No? The money is down there. Okay. Okay, guys. That really completes this prophetic reading. Um, prophetic word. For, 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 yeah, prophetic word. Uh, I really learned a lot about myself, you feel me? Because as you guys know, I'm always concerned about my future and what's to come next. Like, I'm really anxious because my worst fear is failing. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I came an extremely long way. So, you know, I just hate, like, that, the whole going to fail or on the way to failing, it just scares me a bit. So, um, I appreciate you, Don. Like, You're I really cool. appreciate it. Like, we're definitely going to keep in touch. Definitely. Because you can maybe do some more readings for my friends, my mom. And I feel like you should make a business out of this, you know, and pay people, like, uh, like a hundred an hour or something. Oh. I mean, because she's... a lot. That, uh, to charge. Yeah, you think so? People will pay it though, trust me. And all you need is an hour because it really took us like 45 minutes. Yeah. So it would be a quick little something. You feel me? Yeah. So, and I can do parties. Really? And yeah. yeah. Ooh, Ooh, parties will be fun. Alright guys, like I said before, that really completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. You guys can follow Don. Um, you want to tell me on Facebook? Is it just Don Ivory? So alright y'all, this is how her picture look. Um, if you guys want a professional reading, hit up my girl Don. You feel me? A lot of your stuff is accurate for the most part. Yes. How do you know? Like, have somebody have ever came to you and say, oh my god, Don, what you told me happened? Oh, all happened. the time. All really? The time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some, what I'll do is I'll put some of my videos Cause I did a lot of videos already. Yeah. And I'll put them on my Facebook page. Perfect. Okay, y'all. So people can see that. Y'all can hear her up. All right, guys. That really quick this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. 